guys, welcome back to my channel. So my channel has been live now for two years and I have been so focused on delivering as much quality content as I can that I realized that I have yet to make a video introducing myself properly. So with this video, I hope to remedy that. In this video, I am going to answer some questions you might have. Who am I? Why did I start this channel? Why did I quit my full-time job to be a content creator? What is my vision for this channel? So this video is a fun video, I hope so. Instead of a technical video, like most of the videos on this channel. I hope this video will let you get to know me a bit better as well as let you know what you can expect from this channel in the future. Let's get started. If you have been watching my channel for any time now, you know that my name is Emma Dean. I am a data scientist turned software engineer turned content creator. And this channel is geared toward helping data scientists land their dream jobs. Those are the basics, but I think it's time I gave you a little more information about myself as well as my goals and vision for this channel. First, I want to tell you a little more about me as a person. How did I wind up as a data scientist and then make this YouTube channel? My background is pretty varied. I have made a few career changes. I started with an undergrad degree in city planning. I did my undergrad in China and I worked as a city planner for three years before deciding to pursue a master's degree in landscape architecture. While doing my master's degree, I got some opportunities to work with professors in the engineering department on some research projects and some of them encouraged me to do a master's degree in engineering. And I did my second master's degree in transportation engineering. It took me four years in total to finish my two master's degrees. I remember sometimes I only slept for three hours a day while I was doing both programs because I was juggling between coursework and research projects. But when I look back, everything's worth it. It's my career and I should work hard to do what I wanted to do, right? It was after getting this second master's degree in 2017 I started searching for a data scientist job. After searching full-time for a few months, I finally landed a job as a data scientist at a supply chain management startup. That was where my journey with data science really kicked off. Working as a data scientist at a startup means that I was a generalist and I needed to do all of the things that are relevant to data science, including data analytics, dashboarding, building data pipelines, and machine learning. I really enjoyed working in a startup environment where you can work on projects from ideation to production, and that experience helped me become a full-stack data scientist. While I thought I'd have a promising career there, I was laid off in 2019 after only one and a half years. I remember the day that my manager brought me the news. I was in shock, and I was speechless for a few minutes. In fact, not only was I impacted, but the whole engineering department was laid off. Despite how shocked I was and how unrealistic I felt, I lost my job. It was during the two months of stressful job searching and interview preparation that I learned a lot again about job searching as a data scientist. It was a painful experience and what I realized was how important it is to be interview sharp even if you have a seemingly secure job because you never know when you're going to be laid off. There are lots of things out of your control. I realized that interview skills are so necessary for your career. Not only do you need those skills to land your first job, but you also need them to advance your career. Throughout the course of your career, you will likely change companies, either willingly or unwillingly. You will need to be able to crack interviews when you are changing companies. So that's the realization I had, the need to continue learning and to be interview sharp. After those two months, I landed my dream job with Airbnb as a data scientist. I really loved working there. Because of my realization after being laid off that I need to continue learning and improving myself, I was able to earn my third master's degree in computer science while working with them. I also switched positions from from data science to software engineering to enhance my technical skills and widen my knowledge in both areas. I have made a video about my transition for those of you who might be interested in knowing more about my experience. I will not talk a lot about that experience here because it's been a few minutes and we haven't touched the YouTube channel yet. So feel free to check out my video on that topic. I have the link in the video description. To be honest, I never thought I would share my laid off story publicly until 2020. I saw many of my data scientist friends being laid off because of COVID and having to look for new jobs. COVID was also making it harder for people to land their first data science jobs. That situation inspired me to share what I have learned from my own experience and I wrote a blog post sharing exactly how I did it. After the post was published, Many people reached out to me asking me questions about how to land a data scientist job. It turned out that so many people are interested in data science. 
but they don't know where to start, what to study, and how to make themselves stand out from the competition. And some doubt they even have a chance of breaking into the industry. I thought that if I could make a career advice and interview information more accessible, I would be giving people the tools they needed to succeed in finding the jobs they desire. So in September 2020, I started this YouTube channel and published my very first YouTube video to share tips and practical knowledge for data scientists looking for jobs. I ended up reaching more people than I could have imagined with my content. When people let me know that my content has benefited them or that they found it useful for their job search or interview preparation, I know that what I'm doing is worthwhile, and that motivated me to do more. Other than working on this YouTube channel, I also did free consultations and mock interviews during my spare time from September 2020 to June 2021 for almost a year. I try my best to squeeze time to help people, and my free consultation and mock interviews have helped a lot of people land their dream jobs. I was fortunate enough to get to know some amazing people in the process, for example, JC and Deboshi, and I have invited both of them to share their experiences on this channel. Now, you might be wondering how this experience led to me quitting my job with Airbnb and making content creation my full-time job. The main reason was that more and more people asked me if I have availability to help and if I offer coaching services. I was not able to help with a full-time job, so I have to say no to many people. I feel bad doing that. On one hand, I love making a positive impact on people's careers. On the other hand, I still have a full-time job and working responsibilities that took me eight hours per day. That made me think if I should quit my job. I decided in June last year to quit my job because I wanted to dedicate myself to helping more people in their job search. I launched my coaching program in July and I had 22 amazing students joining the program. More than half of them landed one or more job offers within just two months of joining the program. Throughout the process, of helping people succeed, I have learned that there is something else that motivates me even more to continue producing content and working with clients. And that something is being able to watch the transformations people make. I have worked with clients in completely different industries such as banking or insurance and being a part of their journey until they were able to land a job as a data scientist in the tech industry. I have also seen people go from working for a small company to landing a job with a top tier company. Getting to watch people make those enormous leaps and even getting to be a part of that transformation in some way is extremely exciting and rewarding. What I found especially motivating in these transformations is helping people overcome their imposter syndrome. When people initially start working with me, they often have low confidence to the point of doubting that they even have a chance. Through putting in the effort and doing the work consistently, those same people gain confidence, overcome their disbelief, and ultimately land their dream jobs. Witnessing that transformation is just incredible. I love seeing it, and I also love being able to offer people content that might help make that transformation possible. On a deeper level, it goes beyond just helping people land jobs. For me, it's more than helping people become data scientists. It's also about watching people build character. Working hard and achieving something you first thought impossible is an incredible thing, and I love playing even a small part in that journey. That has been a major motivation in continuing to do what I do. So that's me and the basics of how I got to this point in my career. I have changed around a lot since my first job as a city planner, but to me, everything I have done has been worth it to find my passion and make a positive impact on people's careers. By sharing my story, I genuinely hope to encourage and empower you guys to pursue the career you want, whether it's from a different industry to data science or from data science to engineering or even quit your full-time job to pursue your passion. Now that this channel has become my full-time gig, what is my goal for this channel? I am still sticking to the same basic principle I started with two years ago, providing accessible information and advice to help data scientists land their dream jobs. Even more basic than that, my mission here is to simply help people pursue their dream careers. It feels great to be able to impact others in this way, and I hope to continue doing that as I create new content in the future. Speaking of the future, I wanted to end this video by letting you guys know where I hope to take this channel in the future. I have been lucky enough to have collaborated with 
with a few data scientists on this channel so far. And I hope to invite more professionals to be guests on my channel so that they can share their experiences and the knowledge with all of you. I believe in the importance of knowledge sharing, not only about interviews, but the practical knowledge needed as a data scientist, machine learning engineer, or data engineer. So you can expect more content with that focus in the future. So if all of that sounds like stuff you want to hear, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated on all my latest content. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I wouldn't be here without the support from people like you. Hopefully you know me and what this channel is about a little bit better now. And I hope you will continue watching my videos to help you find success in your career. Thanks again and see you next time. Bye guys.